Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, let's talk about related lists and how they work. So you might have uh, an account record, for example, and we're all used to fields, right? How many employees work here? What's their address? That's just a field on the account. And when I update it and make the change, that's it, it's changed. You don't have any other version of how many employees do they have on the account. Well, there are many other things that you might want to track where it's not just one data point, but it's got a lot of data points related to that record or related to that account. So you might want to track quotes or orders or opportunities or products they've purchased or support tickets they've had. Here, for example, we've got the asset object. And when I click into this one record, we can see that this record has a lot of fields in it itself. And one of those fields is a lookup field to the account. This field is how you connect one record to another record. Having a lookup field is what allows you to have related lists of related records simply by populating that field. That's how you make the connection. So let me just show you how this works. Let's build a new object and a new relationship from scratch. So here I'm going to go into setup. I'm going to go into the object manager and I'm just going to create a new object. And let's just say it's an inspection. Maybe I sell something and then, you know, we go on site and we perform some kind of inspection. Now you don't need to create a custom object in your environment. You could add lookup fields to whatever object you like. I'm just doing it so that we have a basic starting template. So now I'm creating a tab for my object. And there we go. I now have inspections. Okay. And let's just add a normal field, something maybe we'd all, all be used to like a drop down box. So here I'm adding a pick list for our status. So, you know, are we waiting to do the inspection? Is it complete? Whatever. And we could add more fields like start date, end date, etc. cetera. Um, but I'm just going to take a quick break. And when we refresh, you see now we have an inspections tab and I can now create inspection records. All right. And when I create a new one here, we have the status field, but these records, just kind of live out on their own. These records don't really connect to any other records right now, right? So how do we turn this into a related list? So I'm gonna go back into setup, go back to that object manager, and I'm gonna create a new field. And it's really one of these relationship fields that's going to do it, a lookup field or a master detail field. I'm not gonna get into the details between which one of these you should use. You should kind of read into what the differences are, but either one of those is what you need to create a relationship. And then you pick what other object you wanna relate this to. So I'm gonna relate inspections to accounts. So what, what do you wanna name the field, right? Uh, you could just name it account, you know, what account is it on? But in this case, I'm making it even more clear. I'm gonna say which account. So which account is this inspection for? And then just like any other field, we can decide who has access to it. Here though, there's an extra step. Now we're going to have a list of inspections on the account. What do you want that list to be called? So you can rename the related list you're creating right from here. So simply creating the lookup field, simply using that relationship connects that object to the other object and creates the related lists. So now when I refresh my inspection record, there's my which account field. That's how I know which account I'm going to relate this record to. And there we go. The advanced communications record should now have an inspections related list. But where is it? <laughs> we connected it, but where is it? So we haven't yet put it onto the page. So the relationship exists, the data is there, but we haven't added that one related list to our page. So I'm gonna edit the page layout uh, of our account. And there are actually components you can add. And one of them is just a single related list. So you can drag and drop that inspections list anywhere. You could put it you know, above their support tickets or uh, next to their activities, really anywhere on the page where it makes sense. And in this case, you see me dropping the element on the page, finding my related list that I want to show. And there you go. I now have one related inspection to this record. And you can move it around. You can reorder it. Uh, it's really just up to you where to put it. All right. Now, what about the fields within the related list? 
Maybe you want to have different columns or maybe you want to sort things differently. So to customize that, you go inside the page layout. So the page layout's where you change where the fields are and even what related lists are available for that page. And so you go to the little top toolbar, you find all of your related lists. And if it's grayed out like that, it means it's already on the page somewhere. So I've got a lot of related lists. And notice when it's off the page layout, you can drag and drop it and put it back down. So I dragged and dropped the related list from the little toolbar at the top, dropped it into the order I wanted it in. And then when you click that little wrench icon, that's where you can go and add whatever columns you want and decide how that related list is going to be sorted and even what buttons will be available on that related list. So here I've added a couple more fields. I've reordered it. Maybe I put it above the files related list and that's it. I hit save. So once the template is saved, we can go back to the lightning page in the app builder and we can refresh it. And so now when I refresh this page, and we go look at that single list view, you're going to see now that it picked up those attributes. Those columns are now there and we're sorting the right way. And again, you can just move this around wherever you want. There is just a giant component you could drop for all related lists and you could put that where you'd like as well. So if you did just want to put all the related lists together, you can. And all of those lists that you saw on the other page layout in the exact order that you saw them in, um, they're all going to be there for you. But you, you probably would have more configuration options if you just dragged and dropped individual lists where you think they're uh, more useful. All right, so there is my related list. All right, you save your changes and you leave the editor and that's it. And now if we go look at the account, there we go. We now have inspections there and we can create a new inspection right from there. And really all it's doing is just pre-populating that lookup field. And by having that lookup field populated, we've made that relationship. And if I remove the account from that field, uh, I've removed this inspection from that account. This inspection still exists, but it's no longer related to the account. So inspection 0002 is no longer there, right? And it's really all just comes down to the lookup field. You can even create a brand new account from the lookup field. So if an account doesn't exist, you can use the lookup field, create a new one, and by creating a new one, Salesforce will automatically both create it and associate that record to it. So here I just go to my newly created account and you'll see the inspection is automatically tied to it. So that's just a nice little feature of lookup fields. Now, if we look back at the inspection object, you'll see that I have the lookup to accounts, but you can actually create many lookup fields to many different objects or to the same object more than once. So maybe I'll have two different account lookup fields. One is the account where the inspection is happening and the other is the, uh, let's say partner account that's performing the inspection. So now I'm adding another lookup field. This second lookup field also looks up to accounts. And so you know what that means? That, that now means that we can have two related lists on the account page for inspections. So you can have the same object, the same record show up in two different related lists. It just really comes down to which lookup field was populated. So if I were to create a brand new inspection record, you can see I have two different lookup fields both of which are leading to the same account. So that means that this record is going to show up in both of those related lists. So each lookup field determines which related list that record is going to show up in. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know I do a live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday where you can come and learn something about Salesforce and ask me questions live. Hope to see you there.